Hey. Welcome to my channel. Um, to all my new subscribers, hello and welcome to my channel for the first time. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video um, talking about how I grew long natural hair. I know it doesn't look long right now, <laughs> but um, that's because of shrinkage, of course. I have like 50% shrinkage, so I'll post videos and pictures throughout this whole video talking or showing you guys what I'm talking about. And so stay tuned if you want to hear some tips on how to grow long, healthy, natural hair. Okay, tip number one is eat healthy, drink lots of water, and exercise. In order to grow long hair, you really need to be a healthy person. You have to have a healthy body in order to grow long hair. If your nutrition is poor, then your hair growth is going to either be too slow or it's going to be your hair itself is going to be weak and susceptible to breakage and you don't want that so the main thing is you have to have a healthy diet make sure you take vitamins like biotin b12 you can just get a super b complex that's what i do i just take a b complex just to make sure that I'm getting everything that I need, but I already eat super healthy as it is. I try not to eat any junk. I try to drink um, lots of water, like I said. You need to be drinking like half your body weight in ounces every day. So just make sure you do that and exercise. I'm not saying you gotta be like an Olympic athlete, but just make sure you at least like go for a walk a few times a week. Um, run if you can run do something be active and just take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself you're not gonna grow healthy hair and you're just not gonna have healthy skin lots of stuff so just take care of yourself that's my number one tip number two is moisture girl ain't nobody got time for no dry hair okay you have to have moisturized hair if you want it to grow okay if your hair is dry, just think of it like like a stick that's super dry. It's just going to snap and break every time you touch it or try to comb it or do something with it. You have to have moisturized hair so that it can like bend and move and stretch. If your hair doesn't have any stretch, then you, you pull it and it'll just break. So moisture, 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 moisture. Find a good conditioner that works for your hair. Um, get a spray bottle, you know, all the work. Moisture is a big part of growing long hair, I'm telling you. So just make sure you find like oils and butters, all the oils, all the butters that work for your hair type. I personally use a lot of coconut oil, um, grapeseed oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I use shea butter. Um, recently I've been using shea moisture products, but I used to make my own shea butter mixture. So just find out what you can do to your hair that will make it moisturize. Tip number three, that is leave your hair alone. Now what this means is that you shouldn't be touching your hair all the time. You shouldn't be pulling on it. Um, do things with your hair that lets you leave it alone. Don't wash your hair like three times a week or anything like that. The best thing you can do to grow long, like curly, coarse, natural hair, is to just leave it alone as much as possible. And the way that I do this is that um, I wash my hair like once every two weeks. When my hair was shorter, I would wash it once a week because like when your hair is short, it's like, uh, there's not much you can do with it when it starts to like get old and look bad. Like now that my hair is long, if it starts getting old, I can just pull it back in a ponytail or do some like style with it where I tuck it away. When it was shorter, um, I couldn't do that. So I would wash it like once a week and I'll show pictures of my hair when it was shorter so that you guys can see what I'm talking about if you're new here. My fourth tip is protective styling. Protective styling is everything. <laughs> it is everything to me because my hair can be so unmanageable and so thick sometimes that I just don't have time 
to devote to doing it, but I don't want to neglect it. And so what I do is I'll put my hair in like twists or braids. And that has really saved me these past three years because um, my hair can be a bit of a monster sometimes. Um, it can be a lot to bear. It, it is a lot. So um, yeah, protective styling, things that I've done is Marley Twist. I did a video on that a few years ago. Um, that was my first protective style after going natural. Um, after that, I did like box braids. Um, I've done like Senegalese slash Havana twists. That's like Senegalese twists that are really big. That's what I consider them as because I use like regular knuckle on hair. But um, yeah, just pick a, a protective style that you like. I've done yarn braids, even though I probably won't be doing them again because it really dried my hair out. But just do things that you really like that will give you some versatility that you can style and have fun with even though your hair isn't out. And it'll really help you to protect your ends and protect your hair for like a month or two is on. And my next tip is to stretch it. Stretch your hair. Um, natural hair is very curly and a lot of times it's coarse and it curls back up on itself and it shrinks like crazy. Like I said, my shrinkage is like insane because even though my hair is shrunken right now, it's not even as shrunken as it could be because this is not a wash and go. You need to be doing braid outs, twist outs, flat twists, Things that after you wash your hair, you can do something with it while it's drying so that when you take it out, it's stretched out like this. Yeah, you have to stretch your hair if you want it to grow because it'll help you space out some time between the next time you style it, if that makes sense. Like washing goes, you have to keep up with them. You have to um, keep putting water on your hair like every day. There are very few people who can do a wash and go and then just leave their hair for the rest of the week and it looks fine. But with braid outs, all I do when I go to bed at night is literally just put this hair sock, that's what I call it, I just put this hair sock over my head to preserve my curls while I sleep. I take it off in the morning, fluff my hair out and shake it a little bit and that's it. It's awesome. So make sure that you find a style that you can do that will stretch your hair while it's drying so that you don't have to do your hair constantly throughout the week. I don't twist my hair at night. I don't do any of that because that's just too much manipulation. I personally don't think that my hair would have grown as long as it has if I didn't stretch it. So every time I wash my hair, I either twist it or braid it every single time. And my last tip is minimal heat. Okay, um, I know we want to have that long, luxurious hair. I know we want to like show off our length because being natural, you hardly ever get to show off how much length you have because your hair is always shrunken up, which is really annoying. But you really cannot straighten your hair like every time you feel like it. The first time I straightened my hair was two years in. It was last year, which was 2013. That was like after my two year mark, I decided I wanted to straighten my hair. And it was so healthy and full. I had never had thick hair like that before. Um, being straight, because when I had a relaxer, I had very thin hair. Um, I hated it. Even though it was like kind of long, it was really thin and I did not like that. So it was nice to be able to straighten my hair and still have fullness. The last time I straightened my hair was a couple months ago, back in April. I'll post pictures of that. And so you guys can like see my length and I also have a video talking about um, the products that I use to straighten my hair. Um, product is really important. If you're going to straighten your hair, you need to at least use the proper product so that you don't um, damage it with the heat and that it's moisturized and that it looks good and healthy. So that's really it guys. Um, I don't do much to my hair. When people ask me, oh my goodness, your hair is so long, how did you grow it like that? The first thing that I tell them is that I just keep it moisturized and leave it alone. That's the best thing that you can do for your hair. These, what I just told you, these are the main things that has contributed to the health of my hair and the length of it. So if you guys can just hold on to what I've said and do these things, don't be lazy. Um, that's like another big thing. You cannot be lazy and have natural hair because it is so much work. Um, a lot of the times and you really have to know your hair know your hair type I'm a type 4B um, 
I'll put a link below in case you don't know your hair type that will explain to you the different hair types and you can kind of try and categorize yourself because if you know your hair type that really helps because you know different people will say oh I have this hair type and you can identify with them and they can tell you what it is that they do that helps their particular hair type. I know 4B is like um, thick coarse hair with coils in it. I have really coily hair. Um, I think it's like called an S shape. So um, yeah, I learned about a lot of things that I have to do for my hair by reading up on it and doing the research. So definitely make sure that you know your hair type. That's like really key to um, getting into all this hair stuff. <laughs> so, so here's how far my hair comes down in the front. It's like um, breast length <laughs> or like at the bottom of it because it's like right there. So that's how long it is in the front and even though I'm pulling it straight, it's still not as straight as it can be so it is a little bit longer than this. Um, and then in the back, if I can grab it, okay. So my hair comes down to like right here and this is the end of my back where my booty starts and that's where my hair comes down to. Um, I think I lost it. Okay. Here's the end of my back and here's where my hair comes down to. So my hair is like between 18 and 20 inches long at different lengths. And just for um, a height reference, I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall. Um, if I wasn't so tall, maybe my hair would look longer. <laughs> but it doesn't. So thanks for watching my video guys. I love you all to all of my faithful subscribers and to all the new people. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with my journey and um, talk to me, comment below. Um, I don't know what you want to say. Say something so I can talk to you guys because I love it um, getting feedback and all that good stuff. So have a good day. Bye.